See, I'm too bright. I'm too bright. Maybe we should swap because I'm, br I'm brown. You're brown? No. Should we swap? Let's swap. Let's swap. <laughs> where, where do you suggest? We can go there. It's not gonna change the light there. We're moving. We're moving. <laughs> Oh, making videos is difficult, really. Yeah. Don't you think making videos, video, making oh. videos? <laughs> Tell me about the town where you grew up. The town. I come from Riga, from the capital city in La in Latvia. This is where I studied, and <laughs> she's so <laughs> Rita thinks she's very awkward on camera, but she's I not. Am I think really awkward she's then. great. She's I'm a natural. Not, yeah. But is there not yes. a town in Riga that you are from? Oh, do you want the area? Well, the area is actually really dodgy. Like usually, people say, "Don't come to the area where where I grew up." <laughs> Mako, tell tell us what it's called, so I'll cut away to an image of it. Maskavosiela or Maskachka, how people call it. <laughs> Like you wouldn't bring your children there? No, you won't bring your friends there. <laughs> well, I was brought up in a place in Ireland called Mohill. It was a teeny tiny town in the middle of nowhere in Ireland. It was very small. I lived with my grandmother until I was four. Right. In a tiny house, like packed full of people. Real right. Ireland in the 80s, you know? That's why I'm all messed up. <laughs> Some people want to know what music you like, Rita. Oh, wow. Very broad. Very broad. Even though it's hard to say um, the genders. genders the genders of music. <laughs> We've had a few <laughs> glasses of Howard's Folly wine. This edit's going to be difficult. So, okay, my, my favorite type of music always been like something that I always can listen to and never get tired of. It's a trip hop. So it's like a band coming from Bristol in England, which is Massive Attack and Portishead. It's always been my favorite. I confess, my favorite band is U2. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> In fact, I've seen U2 play live 40 times. I'm such a crazy fan that I went to see their last concert they ever did, or well, the last concert they've done, which was in Mumbai. I flew all the way to India just to see U2. That's how nuts I am. Has anyone got angry at you making a video? Nobody really got angry at us. Like not during the no. shooting, like nothing, no. What I usually do is I send people the video before we publish it just to make sure that they're okay with it, you know? And yeah. uh, pretty much everybody is, I'll except for it. one or two <laughs> who have requested editorial changes right when we're about to go publish. And I'm not going to say their names, but you know who you are if you're watching this video. <laughs> What activities, initiatives can we as individuals deploy to stop the growing concern and pay divide in Portugal between foreigners and locals? Jackson, that That's question's hard. way too heavy. <laughs> That's really We're just making one. fun videos here. <laughs> it's a good question though. I do like the, the idea of the question. Yeah, I don't know the solutions to that. You know? Kick us out. Portugal. Definitely. What activities give you most joy in Lisbon, Rita? I don't know you like dancing, Rita? I do love dancing, of course. Tell yes. everybody about your weekend. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and what gives me joy? Yes, meeting new people, seeing new environments. Uh, like this place is unbelievable. It's always great discovering new places. Gym. You've been crazy, like going to the gym every day. It's my new thing, going to the gym every day. He lost weight. So I'm impressed. Thank you. Next, yeah. next year when I do this video, I'm going to be tanned <laughs> with my six pack. You, you like going to the beach though. Yeah, I swim a lot. I love swimming. You also like going to the nudist beaches, don't you? I do. She <laughs> does! She really does! I love freedom. In all, it's, it's... Rita likes being free. She likes <laughs> hugging trees. <laughs> T.W. Hawk, an amazing personality that we had feature recently. And he's a Hollywood film producer that's moved to Lisbon. He says, is there any common thread that ties all the people of Lisbon together? Well, yes, they're, they live in Lisbon. <laughs> what is your favorite part of the people of Lisbon process? For me, it's definitely shooting. They like, are part of uh, photography and video making. What I really enjoy is like a psychology. Kind of you, may, you get to know the person in a really short period of time and you get so much information about them. 
Question from Tanya Fryer, an amazing painter and embroidery girl, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm my friend now. What were the biggest surprises that you felt from people and their stories since people of Lisbon? You know, often we make the video with the person and you know they're trying to rep they're trying to show themselves in the best possible light. So they're you know they're trying to say the right things and stuff. But often after we do a filming with the person, we might go for a drink with them or go for some food with them, and then we. Uh, you know, we're like, oh my god, this person isn't like the person at all that they were like in the video. Does that make sense? Yeah. No. For example, Tanya, who just asked that question. When I remember if you, if you actually, maybe we'll clip away to this video right now. But when we went to make this video, she seemed really like shy and very like she didn't say a word and she was very introverted artist. Biggest party maniac in <laughs> Lisbon, Tanya. I'm not usually yeah. this giddy. It's, it's the Howard's Folly wine. <laughs> That's oh, enough. That's uh, I think we filmed about 40 minutes here. I don't know how long this edit's going to be, but... Um, yeah, that's really long. That's okay. very long. Do you think that that's it? I think that that's it. <laughs> okay, thank you Please again. like, comment, subscribe, support us on Patreon. And can we just say a very special thank you yeah. to our sponsor, thank which you. is Howard's Folly. And this wine is delicious. Check out Howard's Folly. That's it. Cut. Done. Cut. Done. Cut. Done.